Kyler Murray now the favorite to be the MVP. Mm-hmm. Mighty Mouse. Right. He's a uh, five to one at Caesar Sportsbook. We saw a plus mm. five fifty, which means, you know, uh, no one's favored against the entire field. But that, those are the best odds. The it's called the odds-on favorite to win the uh, MVP. Five to one now. Um, is there anything Prescott or Lamar Jackson can do this season, right? Or Josh Allen, or you know, any any one of those young guys? where they could do something Mm -hmm. to be in the same conversation with Patrick Mahomes. I don't mean for MVP this year. I mean, Mahomes has done so much in his career so far. He's like, feels like he's cemented on the Rogers level, right? These are the two dudes, the most talented we've ever seen, but it is still early in his career. Mm -hmm. Is there something that can be done by one of these other young quarterbacks or two of these other to, to kind of be in that Mahomes conversation? A trend towards the Mahomes conversation is more likely than be in that like Mahomes, Mahomes is untouchable compared to everyone, all the young guys now. Is he touchable by Lamar, by Kyler, by Dak, by Josh Allen? Is he touchable? I, I feel like Lamar can catch him because Lamar's done essentially the same amount of work that Patrick Mahomes has. Patrick Mahomes is on the tenth floor. His apartment costs a million. And on the ninth floor, same view. This is just a little bit. He got a little bit of the rooftop more. Mm-hmm. And Lamar is right underneath at 9.5. But same, they got this kind of the same view mm-hmm. where Lamar could catch him because Lamar's got the MVP. He's won multiple play, or he's been in the playoffs multiple times. He won a playoff game. He's now so, beating Mahomes head to head. So he's there. When you start talking about Josh and you start talking about Kyler. They're so those two to me are so far out in front of them right now because when you look at a short period of time that Mahomes has been in the league and Lamar's been in the league, they've done a lot. Fair enough. But Dak, still. Can I jump in for steel. a second here? I, I I hear what you're saying on Lamar Key because individually, talent wise, his talent is off the charts. But this is also team sports, and one of the things we do in team sports is we talk about how can you, t- what level do you take your team to. Patrick Mahomes has been in the Super Bowl multiple times. Like, we've talked about him having a chance to – he could have had three Super Bowl championships, right? Like, so I I think that puts him in a category that is not reachable by Lamar unless he gets his team to a Super Bowl because it's about team success as well. And I think Lamar, at some point in time, he will. All I'm saying – that's why I got him on the 10th floor. 10th floor. He on the 9th floor. You know how you can buy something. The 10th floor. You basically – the 9th floor is the same as the 10th floor. Your view might be a little bit better than mine because you clear the rooftop. I'm kind of looking a little bit. I'm yeah, I kind of, you know, <sighs> I kind of got it, but yours is just a little yep. bit better. That's a good analogy. That's kind of <laughs> where I feel like Patrick Mahomes is because here's what I would say, and James will probably kill me, K-I-L-T, kilt, is that Patrick Mahomes has more to work with than Lamar. Lamar, in my opinion, has done more with less. Even though Patrick's won an MVP and has been to two Super Bowls and also was on the verge of going to three, he has more to work with. Mm -hmm. Lamar has basically took his team and that offense and put it on his back and carried them through the playoffs and doing all that sort of stuff. This is an interesting exercise to me. It's useful because I agree with that. There's Mahomes and there's everyone else, but... But if Lamar well, Rogers, continues, Rogers no, no, yeah, roof. I mean the young guys, yeah, yeah, of the Rogers, guys under thirty. Rogers let's say. on the roof with a yes. cocktail. Yeah, yeah, Chilling. Let, but let, but let's say on guys under thirty, right? But Lamar is the guy, and this is an interesting season for him because he won a playoff game last yeah. year. He beat Mahomes this year. Yeah. If he continues trending this way because of his body of work, yes, he'll be the one guy knocking on the door. Yeah, yeah, and it's scary to think that. This dude might go to the Super Bowl this year with what he's working with because he's that special of a talent. Take nothing away from Patrick Mahomes. Hell, I'll take Patrick Mahomes as my quarterback with his left arm. Right. But he's just, Lamar, just something about his dynamic ability to engineer certain things or, or with his team. And the moment that people start to count him out, all he does is win games. All he does is win games. 
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.